we are active here we are going to be doing a angelfish small angelfish and the first thing you do after you have your blank set and cut is you make sure that the grain is going the right direction i like to get the grain to go this way it doesn't make a lot of difference on this particular project however it will be easier to keep the small parts from breaking if the grain is going this way first thing you want to do is mark a center line all the way on the edges all the way around the project just use a pencil like so now this project basically is going to be using your pocket knife or a knife to thin the fish down and taper it to the center lines on both sides the thinner you get it the better it'll be but it, you can stop at any point and then finish it from there but the first cut you, that I like to use is I'll look at the grain and I'll see which way so it doesn't dig in I'll make a sample paring cut towards me notice my knife is quite sharp and I'll just go around, keep on tapering. I'm going to be watching, and I want to taper it to that line on each side. And flip it over, check your grain again, run a little test cut to make sure you're not digging too much out. Had a little tear out right there, so that tells me maybe we'd be better off to turn this around and go this way much better I'm continually looking and orient orienting myself to that center line I want to taper this blank to the center line take real thin slices don't try to hog it all off or you'll have a You'll dig off and you'll get too much too much off of it. Now, what we want to do is go right around the fish and do the same thing on try to get it somewhat even, but it doesn't make that much difference. There again, pay attention to the grain so you don't dig in. Make a first cut is always there's a little place for a stop cut, a little stop cut there to make it cleaner. Go very thin until you're sure what's happening, until you get real comfortable with the piece of wood and the grain and what you're doing. Another little stop cut where the two surfaces come together. Turn the wood around. Make best use of the grain so it doesn't dig in. Keep checking back at the center line. Now the end of the world isn't going to come if you cut a little bit too much off. You can just make an adjustment as you go. Now you may find it advantageous at some point to go to a thumb assisted push cut. I'm using a push cut, thumb assisted push cut here. I'm just using my thumb as kind of a pivot point. It really takes a lot of the strain and gives you a lot more a lot more control of the knife. There again, I'm going right down towards the center line. So really what you see is we're just going all the way around the fish on each side. You'll have to continue turn it around and change from a paring cut to the push cut to follow the grain now a little note right here the more wood you take off the less sanding you have to do you can stop it now okay okay you can see what I've done I've gone and uh, around the top fin here on each side I'm paring off 
wood to taper towards that center line. You want to get that whole top as thin as you can, but you don't want it to go up and just have a real quick, you're going to taper it down. So you want to go farther back in with thin, thin, thin slices, farther back into the body of the fish. Paying attention to once you find out which way the grain is the most favorable to cut with, just keep right on going that way. Now, when you get down to a little corner like right here, you can make use of a stop cut at the bottom of it. Now, a little thing to remember, the most important part of your knife, I think, is the tip. Maybe the first 3 sixteenths of your blade, that's what you're really doing a fine work with. You got more control. So, if I'm going to thin that down, I'm using a push cut, but I'm getting right down to that flat spot. But I'm using just the very tip of the blade. Now remember, we're going to clean this all up and finish it off with a with some sandpaper. So you can just keep right on going around. It doesn't make any difference. You've only got two knife cuts that you're really using and one is the paring cut like that and of course the other would be the the push cut like so now a thing that I should probably point out is try to slice the wood off don't just rely on the sharpness of your blade and push it like a chisel try to start getting into the habit of See how I'm kind of slicing with that blade? I'm pulling it towards me. Letting my fingers pull it towards me like that. The grain changes right there. I could tell it was starting to dig in. So now I turn around and I know that now so I can take a little bit deeper cut to start evening it out. We do the same thing all the way around each of the corners of the edge of the fish, trying to taper it to the center lines. Okay. okay, now for the final step, right before we finish, we need to sand it. You'll start out with some coarse sandpaper and just hold it and just kind of sand it to get all the little scratches from the knife or any of the facets off. Make it as smooth as possible. I wouldn't worry about too much about going with the grain to begin with because you'll follow this coarse sandpaper up with fine sandpaper. Follow the coarse sandpaper up with some fine sandpaper and now you might want to kind of go with the grain. Just lightly get it real nice in preparation for putting the final finish on it. 